filling a tank. A water hose is used to fill a large cylindrical storage tank of diameter capital D and height 2 capital D. The hose shoots the water at 45 degrees above the horizontal from the same level as the base of the tank and is a distance 6D away. For what range of launch speeds V0 will the water enter the tank? Ignore air resistance and express your answer in terms of capital D and G. So we can start out by noting the initial velocity x component V0x is equal to initial speed V0 cosine 45 and that corresponds to a range of the projectile xt uh, Vx times time of flight Tf and because uh, the velocity x component is not changing because the acceleration on the x-axis is zero v0 cosine 45 times time of flight at the same time the y component of the velocity v0y will be v0 sine 45 and the y component of the velocity is time dependent and it is initial velocity y component v0y minus gt so the distance we travel on the y-axis delta y is integral from zero to time of flight tf vy of t dt which is integral from zero to time of flight tf v0y minus gt dt so that will give us v0y time of flight minus 1 over 2 g time of flight squared okay so if i have a range of uh, 60 uh, that is going to give me uh, a height of 2d as well so that that's basically because i have to make it into the a water tank so one scenario I will consider is that the range is 60 the uh, the height is uh, 2d at the at that point so for xt equals 6d which is uh, v0 cosine 45 uh, time of flight that will be equal to v0 over square root 2 times time of flight until I reach the tank so this is going to be equal to 6 square root 2 capital D divided by v0 at the same time I have to make sure that when I reach the distance uh, 6d so when I reach 60, I have to make sure that I'm making into the tank. So the delta y should be equal to 2d. So delta y is uh, v0y tf minus 1 half gtf square. And v0y was uh, v0 over square root 2. So it's v0 over square root 2 time of flight minus 1 over 2 g time of flight squared this must be equal to 2d to make it into the tank therefore i find that uh, v0 over square 2 time of flight is 6d minus 1 over 2 g time of flight square which is uh, the square of this quantity here so it is 36 times 2 times d square divided by v0 square so this must be equal to 2d so i find that 4d 6d minus 2d 4d must be equal to 36 because these twos will cancel 36 g d square over v0 square so if i isolate v0 here v0 is square root 
36 g d squared divided by 4d so that gives me 36 over 4 uh, that is 9 square root of 9 is 3 so I obtain 3 uh, the one of these these will cancel so it will be 3 square root G times capital D now uh, I can also reach the other end of the uh, so if it's uh, V0 is too much I will have passed uh, from the uh, top of the cylinder so therefore I want to make sure that when the range is 70 I'm making it into the cylinder so that's the other extreme uh, so the first scenario I have considered was xt equals 60 the other extreme is the other side of the cylinder so for a range of uh, 70 I have v0 over square root 2 time of flight is 70 and time of flight will become 7 square root 2 d divided by uh, v0 so with that delta y again should be uh, at this time 2d so that I'm making it into the tank so it is uh, v0y time of flight uh, v0y is v0 over square root 2 so it's v0 over square root 2 time of flight which is now 7d minus 1 over 2 g time of flight squared 7 squared 49 square root 2 squared is 2 d squared divided by uh, v0 squared so these uh, twos will cancel and I will be left with so this has to be equal to 2d uh, I will be left with 7d minus 2d uh, 5d equals to uh, 49 g d squared over v0 squared uh, with that v0 will become a square root 49 g d squared divided by 5d so this will give me square root of 49 is 7 7 divided by square root 5 square root g d now 7 divided by square root 5 uh, up to uh, three significant figures this is going to be 3.13 3, uh, square root GD uh, so I find that if I have an initial speed greater than 3 square root GD um, so greater or equal that's when I'm just making it into the tank uh, V0 is less or equal 3.13 square root GD then I will be making it into the tank so this is the range of initial speeds I should have in order to make sure that this projectile will end up in the tank okay so we have a water hose we're trying to fill this tank it's a storage tank of water it is 2d high and it, it has a width of D basically we are neglecting here the uh, the thickness of the walls and uh, when I'm at a distance 6d here this water will uh, if the projectile uh, uh, has at that point uh, a y component of 2d it's going to make it into the tank if I have a 7d range here and y is equal to 2d at this time I will also be making it into the tank so therefore I look for uh, the range of speeds that give me uh, a possible total range of 6d and 7d for this projectile so I look at the x component of the velocity and note that there is no acceleration on the x-axis so xd is vxtf which is v0 xtf time of flight 
and v0 y is v0 sine 45 its y component and the y component is changing with time because we have gravitational acceleration it's v0 y minus gt the distance I travel, the displacement on the y-axis is integral 0 to tf vy of t dt. So that is v0 y tf minus 1 half g tf square. So first I set xt equals 60 by noting that cosine 45 is equal to sine 45 which is 1 over square root 2. I, I see that v0 over square root 2 tf is 60 uh, and for the second case v0 over square root 2 tf is 70. Delta y has to be 2d in both cases, so by set, uh, substituting this tf for xt equals 60 and uh, for the case xt equals 70, I substitute this tf into the uh, equation for the displacement on the y-axis and I obtain two possible extreme values of v0, 3 square root gd and 3.13 square root gd and that's my final answer.